Guys, I'm Rob. I'm the pro driver. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between Pump 93 and E30. Now, if you're like me, you've been rolling around on stage two for the last however long, and you probably love it, but you're just curious about E30 and whether or not your car can do it, and whether or not you should do it. And uh, today we're going to talk about how you can do it, um, and the pros and the cons, and everything I experienced when I did it. So stage two is an economic milestone, which is why I haven't really gone any further than stage two uh, with a turbo or anything, because any more power is going to cost you exponentially more. But there is a way to get a little bit more power for extremely cheap, and it's E30. So for this car in particular, it's a 2015 435i xDrive with a manual transmission. You can run E30 with your stock fuel pump. Now this E30 mixture, which is 12 gallon, 93, four gallon E85, is if you have a 16 gallon tank, specifically 15.9 for F-Series. Before you do it, double check your year and your model to make sure it's a 16 gallon tank. That way you get the mixture correct. We're gonna talk about the easiest way to get your car set up for E30. Number one, go to whatever it is, whether it's your phone or your computer, ahead of time and download the E30 tune. That way, once you're at the gas station, you don't have to fiddle around with acquiring the tune. You, you already have it. Get it all set up the way you want. If you want to configure your burble, get that done and out of the way. And make sure you have your computer or your phone, whatever you use to tune, make sure that's in the car with all the wiring and whatever you need to get into the ECU. Now, I'm just gonna assume that you're at a gas station that has obviously gas, and E85 at that exact pump. Make sure you have a little bit of room in your gas tank, like maybe half full or a quarter. Just make sure you have some room. Fill up your car with four gallons of E85, exactly, four gallons. Then do the rest of your tank with 93. That's gonna give you E30. Then, I mean, I mean, I get it, it's real life. You might have to get off that pump, so just drive it to a parking space, and that's where you're gonna tune it, right there at the gas station. It's all done. Wait five seconds and then start the car. Blah, blah, blah. Well, the car started, so that's good. <laughs> now, like all tunes, you shouldn't pull out of the parking lot doing a massive burnout. You should just go easy for the next few miles. Let the engine kind of figure it out. All right, for X amount of thousands of miles, your car has been running on regular gasoline. Now it's gonna be on this E30 mixture. So it's a little bit different. Just run it for a couple miles, let the tune really set in. Then you can hammer it. The pop 
clips are louder, like everything is just more intense. That was clutch slipping. What happened was I was in second, went like three quarter throttle, hit third, went full throttle. RPMs jumped, car didn't accelerate anymore. So that was definitely the clutch. Definitely too much torque uh, for the clutch to handle. Clutch was probably a little bit warm anyway. It's a warm night. It's not designed for this power. Just in case I like seared my clutch, uh, I drove it around for a couple more minutes just to like re, you know, grind it up a little bit. I'm gonna test it out tomorrow on my way up to Scroon uh, in higher gears and we'll see how, how she does. I would get a fuel system warning. Basically that was the car's way of telling me that the fuel pump was running in a different way than it was originally designed to run. I'm not trying to go too hard uh, because I don't want to wreck my clutch since I'm driving 200 miles away from home. I'm dropping the hammer. No, you're not. This particular tune, the E30 tune from BM3, what it does, it actually, uh, it seems to not spool your turbo um, during light driving. Like if you're just barely on the gas, like maintaining 75 miles an hour, it really won't spool. I mean, there's probably a little bit of spoolage, but you don't, I can't even hear it. And it doesn't feel like it. it. It certainly sounds like it's not spooling because I'm getting more drone. On a fuel efficiency note, it's really weird. I'm getting 27 and a half miles per gallon. And then once you once you get to like a quarter to half throttle, all of a sudden your turbo will start, start spooling and it really, really starts to pull. Um, almost like full throttle, even at like half throttle, which is kind of weird. Almost immediately, I noticed that I had clutch slip. Also, that you know, it brings up the question, is it worth it? it depends. I mean, look, if, you, if you've never done it before and you want to try it, you want to see what it's like to have that extra power, I say go for it. It's really easy to do. It's kind of fun because, you know, you're, you're, you're tinkering and you're gaining power. and It's kind of satisfying because you did it. You made your car faster. So that pretty much wraps it up. Just follow the guidelines if you want to do an E30 tune on your own car. Good luck, and we'll see you soon.